Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d squared minus a plus b into d plus ab into y equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. d squared minus of a plus b times d plus a b into y equals to 0, right, which is an operator form. Where operator form f of d into y equals to 0, where f of d equals to d square minus of a plus b into d plus a b. Okay. So you can write this equation as d square. Okay. Firstly, d square y minus a plus b into d y plus a b y equals to 0, right? Then d square y by dx square minus a plus b into dy by dx plus a b y equals to 0. So here the highest derivative is d square y by dx square. So the order of the given equation is 2. Since 2 is the Second derivative, right? So here we have the highest derivative, which is second derivative. So here our order is 2. And what about the degree? The power of the highest derivative is the degree. So here 1 will be the degree of the given problem, right? Now, we need to find the general solution to the given equation. So, using auxiliary equation, we'll find the general solution to the given equation f of d into y equals to 0. We know that the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to, how we'll get f of m? Simply by replacing d by m, we'll get f of m, m square minus of a plus b into m plus a b, okay? So now we have auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0 for m equals to m, sorry, for f of m equals to m square minus of a plus b into m plus a b equals to 0. Now we'll factorize it. Consider this polynomial, we are going to factorize it. Okay, or you can write the equation as m square minus am minus bm plus ab equals to 0. Now, take m common from the first two terms. You'll get m times m minus a and take b minus b common from the next two terms. You'll get minus b times m minus a. See? Minus b into m, minus b m, minus into minus plus b into a, a b equals to 0. Now, to consider these two terms, you're having m minus a in both the terms. So, we'll take m minus a common from these two terms and we'll get m minus a times m minus b equals to 0. 
c m minus a into m is m into m minus a minus b into m minus a equals to 0. Now, equate this is also m. If you consider m square minus of a plus b into m plus a b as a polynomial, then m minus a and m minus b are the factors to this polynomial. I'm not talking about the equation. I'm talking about the polynomial. Okay. So, equate m minus a to 0 and m minus b to 0. Then we'll get roots m equals to a m equals to b right then m equals to a comma b r that is m equals to a and b r the roots of f of m equals to 0 now look at the roots they are having a and b okay which are distinct and also it is considered as real since see here p1 p2 so on p n are real constants right so a and b must be real and distinct in the place of p1 p2 and all we are having constants a b right a and b okay so here a b are real constants and they are distinct so therefore the roots are real and distinct in the place of every derivative you are having equations right here you have 1, here you are having P1, P2 and so on. These are derivatives. Fine. Now, we will write the general solution using the formula. If the roots are real and distinct, then our general solution will be y equals to c1 e power m1x plus c2 e power m2x plus c3 e power m3x plus so on plus cn e power mn x. So how many roots you are having? One, two. Two roots, right? Let's take first one as m1 and second one as m2. Then thus the general solution will be y equals to c1 e power for m1 a x either you can take m1 as a or b plus c2 e power m2 we already took m1 as a so the remaining is b take b into x okay this is a solution or take a as m2 and b as m1, then you'll get y equals to c1 e power bx plus c2 e power ax. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order differential equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.